Thank you, Kendall Drake. Appreciate you. You people who, oh my God, Judith. Thank you so much, Judith, for 5,000 stars. Appreciate you. You people who insisted for the checking kids, you should go check the, your back hole. Checking the kids for what? Ah, okay. Whatever floats your boat. Why do you even hand the newborn to the father in the first place? Why do I? Because he has rights to see his kids. But I don't think that he should be able to see the newborn for, for this long. I don't think it's torture for me, let alone her, you know? But he has rights to his kids. They're his kids. They're my kids and they're his kids. So he has rights to see his kids. Cora, yes, you're right. Shame on you. Shame on Justin and the courts for letting this happen. You know what? If I'm being completely honest, I was asked. I was asked if he could see the kids. And I said yes, because I don't want June to miss her father for so long. Because I'm, I'm, I and her father are not working out. You know, So that's why I said yes. But I didn't know that it would take so long. And the, the kid would have to you know, stay away. Especially the younger one. So... Maybe we're going to have to sit down and discuss about that. Judy, why are you taking off your shoes? Oh. She's taking off her shoes. She's making a friend. Yeah. Jenny, you want? Jenny? June! Jenny! Come let me do your pants. I wonder why June always tries to make, to make friends with girls who don't want to make friends with her. She's always making friends with older kids. And they're always like, go away, you're too, you're a baby. Juni! Come let me do your pants for you. Come let me adjust your pants. You don't want me to adjust your pants? Anytime I go to check to get my kids, I will definitely check them, yes. Pump, 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 because you're seeing one thing, then another thing, another day. Um, what are you talking about? You're stupid. I need to Don't make me upset, please. not late try to work it out with your husband <laughs> with which husband Jenny can't go for three days but the newborn I don't think so I think we're gonna have to talk about that because it was not easy for me and I'm sure it was not easy for Athena as well so we need to go and talk about that we need to iron that out Thank you. I had a custody battle years ago and wow, what my attorney allowed happened. Looking back was crazy. I was young and I was taking advantage of for the sake of peace. Please be careful. Yeah, I think that um, I think that I really want peace and that's why I really said um, 
he wants to see the kids for three days that's why i was like okay he can because i'm tired but now i know that i have to i have to make sure that he doesn't have to see athena for three days because it's not good for her and it's not good for me so i'm gonna have to fight that the thing about here and let me educate you guys is when you're doing a divorce every communication and correspondence you have with your lawyer you pay for it so even if i send him an email i'm gonna pay for it and my lawyer is 530 i think he's about he's very expensive so so i'm trying to trying to make peace as much because yeah the lawyers will make you fight so you could pay pay and it's a lawyer's game because peace or no peace you keep paying out of your nose so that's why i just want it to be over quickly and let's know what we're doing however with this new arrangement it's not favoring me or favoring athena so we're gonna have to change that yeah that's the situation that we're at right now you all need to stop the girls are fine a child away from their mother for three days is not fine karen she is not fine she might look fine because she can't talk but she's not fine stop that rubbish If a baby is breastfed and she's taken away from her mother and given formula for three days, that is not fine. We're, not, we're gonna have to fix that. I might be a black Nigerian girl without any, but I know my rights and I know this is not right. So I'm gonna fix that. We're gonna have to adjust the time for sure. Who is this baboon? No woman has the right to deny a man from seeing his own children. I didn't know why Justin left without carrying his kids along. Please return back to your cave, goats. In an educated society, if there's a mishap, yes, the courts can have this order. And that's what happened. The courts ordered this. I didn't order it. In a lawful society, yes, it happens. Thank you, Ivana Vasquez, for 10 stars. Appreciate you. It's only, it's like, it's, I, I have to say that, to be honest, I believe that. What are you doing? Are you licking your finger? No. When did you pick that up? No, we don't lick our fingers, baby. No, 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 we don't. Okay? Ginny, come here. You don't want it? Yeah, she's too small. I, I felt the separation. I felt it. Let alone her. I know she felt it. You know, so yes, we're very modern and everything. But three days is a little too long. I think we should shorten it. I believe we should shorten it. Yes. But for June, yeah, she can see daddy for three days. That's fine. You know. But for but the baby, mm -mm. I don't, not, a, not until she's like six months seven months eight months then we can you know but for three months for this time is too much I will always do what I think is best for my kids. Yeah. 
Hopefully we can come to a solid agreement based on two parents wanting the best for each other for their kids. When did you start eating your fingers, my love? No eating fingers, okay? You don't suck on your fingers. That's what babies do when they're trying to self-soothe. They eat their fingers when they're hungry and there's no food. And you started eating your fingers, my love. Huh? Not eating your fingers, okay? We don't eat our fingers. Yeah, I believe that's too early. I believe that's too early to have a child, a newborn for three days. It's too early. But it's a beautiful day. We're at the playground and I love you guys. I absolutely love you. Look, if I didn't have you guys, I mean the, the positive, not the crazy ones. The ones who give me strength. If I didn't have you guys, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. It's like I was left after two weeks after pregnancy. I'm publicly humiliated, like, like beyond my wildest imaginations. And I was just this happy-go-lucky, nothing can ever go wrong. Everything is rosy and happy in my life. And boom, that just happened. So... Be careful because anything can happen at any time in your life and you just have to be watchful and prayerful and just, just, you know, just, just be good because the universe, anything can happen at any time. Yeah, hopefully it's ironed out soon and everything is good. I, j I just can't wait to be settled and just have been in school and just have everything settled and have my life in. You know, I just can't wait to just have all of this rubbish done and dusted and moving on with my life. love you guys thank you you guys when i when i was told to move out and get out i did all of that and i'm gonna be honest with you i did all of that because i saw that you guys were watching and i had no choice but to just man up and survive you know like man up and survive with my two with my at that point it was she was two week old you know i just had to man up and survive and upon up on uh, the child services that were called and all of that i just had to man up survive and i can't believe we did it guys we did it we did it we did it we created a delicious home for the kids and we did it and child services we, they came and they left you know they, they still they still are on the case but you know they're seeing that i'm i'm fantastic with the kids and it was just the it was just someone who was who was being very wicked that did that and so they're on the case but by god's grace things are gonna be better but it was so crazy how all the bad things just started happening so fast so fast it was so fast it was almost like a movie one minute i'm happily married and oh congrats on your newborn she's so beautiful next thing i'm divorced next thing they're trying to take my children from me the next thing i'm spending 21k on a lawyer the next thing i'm home, home homeless and trying to find a new place it was quick and it was fast and it was it was only god that helped me through god and you guys you know 
you guys. When June is in school, he's still the father for both. I work with the system. What system, you stupid fool? I'm gonna block your stupid ass. Nobody's saying anybody is not the father of the kids. But you pointing that saying he has all the rights. You are a crazed woman. You have no freaking clue. You're clueless. You're clueless. Welcome to America. Been here all my life. I've been there, but you have to humble yourself as he should, but not letting him see the kid baby for several months isn't good. Humble yourself. What does that even mean? That doesn't make any sense. So shut up. Get full custody. He can't be trusted. I don't want full custody. I believe that two parents should have access to the kids because so I want maybe full physical custody legal custody because he needs to work he has a 9 to 5 sometimes even 7 to 10 p.m. you know he needs to work he has I'm not trying to get full I'm not trying to steal the kids not let him see the kids it was the courts who mandated it not me I didn't choose to not let him see the kids the courts did after they saw the evidence of what happened and has been happening all of which you guys will hear about so don't say you you took the kids from him let him see his kids that was not me that was the courts and so don't, don't blame me for that as we speak they still they still there's still an order that says he can't he can't be close to us but he asked to see the kids and i believe that he should see the kids that's why i grant him out of the goodness of my of my heart so don't say that i made him not see the kids and it's sad that it's black women like me women like me who are who are saying this thing it hurts so bad it's women 